Hello, my name is Halel Shapiro. I am a COVID-19 survivor. I was hospitalized at the end of March with double pneumonia and an oxygenation level of 87% and was placed on five liters of oxygen. After two weeks in the hospital and not improving, I was told that I would be placed on a ventilator the next morning. With Hashem's help, my situation improved enough to be sent home. However, once home, things returned to where they were before, and I relapsed to 87% oxygenation on five liters of concentrated oxygen. Finally, after six weeks, I began to walk outside and regain my strength. You know, back in March, not much of any care was provided to me while hospitalized, and there was a time I thought I wasn't going to come home. Today, hospitals are treating COVID-19 patients differently. However, contracting COVID-19 is still very scary, and people are dying from it. Even those with underlying conditions would continue to live their lives with those conditions, but are dying from COVID-19 complications. Everyone knows seatbelts save lives in car accidents. Well, masks help prevent the spread of COVID-19. We all wear seatbelts. We should all wear masks and help stop the spread of COVID-19. I'm Alicia Prero, Rabbi of Young Israel of West Rogers Park, and I'm here to ask you to wear a mask when you're around other people. Kol Yisrael Arevim Zebozeh. We are all responsible for each other. It's basic menschlichkeit. And I am your neighbor. Please wear a mask. I am Dee Romaine. I live at the self-help home. Please wear a mask. Keep us safe. Hi, I'm Rabbi Ellie Samber, head of school at Area Crown Hebrew Day School in Skokie. Each and every child in our community is counting on us to do our part to stop the spread of COVID so that they can continue to go to school every day. I am your neighbor. Please wear a mask. Hi, my name is Phyllis Toback, and I live at Self Help Home. I think wearing masks is the most important thing we can do. I care deeply about all the people I love, my children, my grandchildren, and I hope that people will take seriously the mitzvah of protecting life by wearing masks. Hello, my name is Herzog Greenblatt. I'm a physician. I practice internal medicine in Skokie, Illinois. Um, as everyone knows, we're experiencing a surge in cases of COVID-19. There's not a lot we can do at this time. We, we have gotten better at treating this, but the best way to take care of the community is to prevent the disease from being transmitted. And to that end, the, the best thing we have available at this time is to wear a mask and social distance. It's a difficult thing for many people to wear a mask, but I don't know of anybody who ever dropped out of medical school because they wouldn't wear a mask. And I don't know anybody who gave up practicing surgery because they couldn't wear a mask. We all can wear a mask and we all need to wear a mask. And when we're doing it, we're, we're preventing giving the disease to other people. And that's really what this is all about. My name is Phil Finkel. I'm a dentist, husband, father, and Zadie. I want to be able to see my grandchildren in New York, daven with the minion, and practice dentistry safely. In my office in Shul, we're doing everything possible to keep everybody safe. I can't stress enough the importance of wearing a mask, washing hands, and social distancing. I'm your neighbor. Please wear a mask. Hi, I'm Deborah Silverstein, Alderman of Chicago's 50th Ward. As you know, our community is seeing a record number of coronavirus cases, and we must act now. We don't want the Department of Public Health to start enforcing new restrictions and lockdown measures. I am your elected official and I am your neighbor. Please wear a mask. Hi, my name is Gitta Domsky. I am an occupational therapist and have seen firsthand how COVID has affected people by decreasing their strength, decreasing their endurance and their ability to care for themselves. I am Dr. Yodel Mayevsky, a pediatrician with a master's degree in public health and your neighbor in West Rogers Park. 
Last week, there were over 50,000 new cases of COVID in the United States in children. That means that now 11% of all cases are in children and over 1% of children in the country have or have had COVID. Masks worn by those with COVID are effective in preventing the spread of the virus and masks worn by healthy people are effective in preventing them from contracting the illness. Love your children, protect them and yourselves. You're hi, I'm Ellie and I didn't get to go to camp this past summer because of Corona. I really wanna go this summer, so please wear a mask so I have the opportunity to go. Where are your neighbors? Please wear a mask. Hi, my name is Hallie Goldstein. I am a mother in the community. I have a child who is high risk and we are therefore taking every precaution necessary to keep him safe. It is so important that our neighbors do the right thing so that we can get back to school and to our lives. I'm your neighbor. Please wear a mask. Hello, my name is Dr. Yossi Bornstein. Masks and social distancing do work. I strongly urge you to stay vigilant, get involved with your schools and schools, assist them as much as possible and encourage them to follow the current recommendations. Hold them responsible when they do not. Many of our shuls and schools are doing a very good job in acting responsibly. When our schools and shuls do not take this seriously, it not only harms Akila as a whole, but undermines their authority. I have spoken with a number of parents recently, uh, and they are very concerned about the lax attitude that some of the educational institutions and shuls are taking regarding this pandemic. This not only places the community at risk, it also undermines their moral authority as a Mokhna Torah and as a poor chinuch for our children. I'm also your neighbor. Please wear a mask. Hello, my name is Ruben Gross, and I'm the Rav Ashar Tzedek Mishkan Yair. I wear a mask because I care that you should not get sick, chas v'shalom. I wear a mask so that your children's Torah education can continue uninterrupted without having the schools closed on them. Masks do make a difference. Please wear a mask. Hi, my name is Rose Vadnai. I've been a daycare provider and preschool teacher in our community for the last 15 years. Wearing masks is very important to me. If we don't all wear masks and maintain proper social distance, I will no longer feel comfortable providing services to the children in my care. Hi, I'm Rabbi Leonard Matanke, Dean of Ida Crown Jewish Academy and Rabbi at Congregation KINS. And I'm coming to you to ask you to please wear a mask for my congregants, for my students, for my family, and for yourself. Please, we're all part of Klal Yisrael. We need to take care of one another. My name is Rabbi Mordecai Reisman, CEO of the Associated Talmud Torahs of Chicago. The idea of a haftalu'encha kamocha, loving your neighbor like yourself, and recognizing that no matter what each individual thinks, each, each member of each shul thinks, what we need to do is look out for the other person around us. And if there are people around us that could be safer, if we put on a mask, please put on your mask. I'm Shana Ehrenberg, CEO and Executive Director of Libeno. Our young men, women, teens, and children with developmental disabilities are at particular risk of complications from COVID-19. As such, they've been quarantined in their homes since the start of the pandemic, unable to visit with loved ones and friends. They can't go to work or spend time in the community. They can't even get a reassuring hug from their parents. It's heartbreaking, but we're doing everything we can to keep them safe. Now we need your help. Please wear a face covering when you go out in public for their sake, if not for your own. Hi. I'm Jacob. I live at Lebanon. And I want to be able to see my family and friends soon. Please wear a mask. Hi, I'm Max Dion, the owner of Bond Coffee Collective in West Rogers Park. I'm asking you to please wear your mask so we can keep our doors open, keep serving you, keep being a part of the community, and we can get back to bonding. I'm a friend, a neighbor, and a local small business owner, and we can all do this together. Thanks. Hi, my name is Brian Greika. I'm the chef and general manager and owner of Milt's Barbecue for the Perplexed here in Chicago. It's been a very hard few months for us, for my family. We have to do our part to do our best to take care of each other, and that includes wearing a mask. Shalom Aleichem, it's Ruvain Brand, the Rosh Kolel of the Wayu Tormit Zion Kolel. Just reminding all of us as we continue to deal with this unusual situation during this pandemic, that all of us have a responsibility of our Rebus, a Torah obligation to protect our health and the health of those around us. So let's be vigilant. Please remember, we need to wear our mask.
My name is Ben Katz. I'm an infectious disease doctor and a neighbor of yours in Skokie. I want to emphasize the importance of wearing masks and social distancing, especially now that we are in an upswing of cases of COVID. There's a commandment in the Torah, We have to take care of our health. We have to safeguard our health and the health of others. And the way in which we accomplish that right now is through wearing a mask. This is our job right now, to keep ourselves as safe and healthy by wearing a mask. When we dive in, when we learn, when we interact with other people, it can feel very much like an Isayon, that we have to wear the mask so much. But remember, Ava Avinu passed a Sorinus Yonos, 10 tests. He did not get worn out. He did not say, it's too much already. I can't do it anymore. Rabbeinu Yonah points out that even after the tremendous Nisayan of Akedas Yitzchak that we read about in this past week's parsha, that wasn't even his last test. The tenth of his Nisayonos was Kibur Asara that we read about in this coming week's parsha, having to bury his wife. He did not allow himself to become worn out. And right now, the test that we have to pass is the test of making sure to wear the mask at all times. So make sure to follow the example of others. When you go out, put on the mask. Even Moshe Rabbeinu sometimes wore a mask. It says in the Torah, It's something that we have to wear as a badge of honor because by doing so, we are discharging our Nisayon, the special test, the special job, the special task and mission that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has given us right now in order to fulfill the mitzvah of a v'nishmartim me'od l'nafsho seichem. Please wear a mask.